are you guys doing? Welcome over here to the channel. We're gonna be doing a little bit of camping today. Now, before we get into that, guess what? Myself and Rackley, yes, oh my God, look at this dew shirt. My gosh, look at this. I hope they actually put these up for you guys. This is, this thing's nice. Well, myself and Rackley actually went on the water today. It's actually right on this body of water behind me. I caught my personal best on this lake. I don't know if that video has gone up yet, but I'm telling you guys right now, this place, really not that bad. My guy's over here absolutely just, God, he's such a man. Look at that. He won't shower for the next four days, even though we're only here for two. Yeah. He goes home no smelling. He no goes shower until I get a DD. He's still on that double digit hunt for this year. And I know I have not done any camping videos with this thing yet. I haven't really given you guys a full tour of me using it. I've used it twice now on multiple Guggen weeks and I found some kinks and I found some stuff I don't like and some and, and we're, we're still kind of getting it worked through But we are gonna be showing you guys a full like actual usage of this thing today If you guys have not seen this thing, this is my ambulance This is a 2002 E350 and it has a 7.3 in it and I put way too much money in it But guess what? It's pretty awesome. But before all that guess what? Hey, let's go ahead and bounce back to earlier this morning So you guys can see a little bit of a dangle sesh There he is. <laughs> oh, I know. It's so great. I, wa I watched it eat. It was like, I didn't even feel it. I just watched it go up and suck it down. <laughs> hey, by the way, I got I to gotta do stuff for my tournament. Remember my little derby I'm in? Which yeah. you should be in it as well, but you're not. I know. I, I missed I, logging a you, lot of big bags. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get you a login. Do you want to start doing it today? I can no, get you no, set no, up no, today. <laughs> um, oh, th this one's like it help me. I need like an 18 inch one. I need 18 inches. That's funny. I watched you come up and <laughs> suck it down. The log. The log, of course. Springtime. Always. God dang. <laughs> it's like two minutes deep. It's so funny. Now, after that first fish, it was kind of slow, is a good way to put it. I don't think I act. Well, I caught a fish. Caught. It jumped off, as, as you see here. Ooh, there's a good one. Oh, there we go. Oh, 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 good lord. We're about to get, get us one right here. There's another one right there too. Doink, 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 doink. See a bass back there, but. Yeah, look, the one that I'm with is like, like getting into Pandora's box. Oh my golly, holy sh Bit out of nowhere. <laughs> I've been messing with it for this long and all of a sudden it just decides to hammer it for no reason. It's so weird. What in the world? Look how, it's like a, it's like a, the flip to get in there is like, I think I'm going through like a damn obstacle course. Like, look at this. It's so hard to get back in there. First fish of the day. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's hard. Do you guys want a shot to take home this boat right here? This is the boat that I had redone by Trick Tins. I've got roughly $20,000 into this boat right here. We got HCS 12 on the front and we got, I think it's a nine on the back. And then we have a brand new Lowrance trolling motor on the front. I mean, this thing is completely rigged out. Custom is all can be. If you guys want a chance to win this, guess what? It's Guggen Black Friday. Everything is up to 75% off. All you have to do is use code LUNKERS at checkout. And guess what? I'm not only gonna give away this boat during Guggen Black Friday, I'm gonna be giving away an all expenses paid trip to come down and fish with me in Texas down in May. So we're gonna have two winners. One person gonna take home this boat and another person is going to come down and fish with me in an all expenses paid trip. It'll either be a day or two depending on where you're from and uh, how we get you down here, but you for sure will come down and fish with me here in May after I get back from my trip in Tokyo. How could you not want to win this thing? Fully custom all the way through, brand new seats, I mean, one of the coolest steering wheels on planet Earth. I mean, how could you not want to win this? Fully custom squishy deck. Yeah, it looks like Guggen Green. Brand new seats, Lowrance 9 on the back. Then you have a Lowrance 12 on the front with a beautiful, I mean, this is actually a really good trolling motor. Lowrance trolling motor on this. And it's it's a good boat. There's nothing wrong with it. And it does not come with this beautiful little girl. But if you guys would like a shot at winning this thing, you guys only have a couple days to do so because the Black Friday sales up to 75% off and that's your only chance to do it. Make sure to use code LUNKERS at checkout to get yourself entered. And you guys also, at the same time, one of you guys will be selected to come down. I'm just going to do it myself. All expenses paid trip to come down and fish with me here this coming May. But it'll be linked in the top description. And remember, everything on the Guggen Squad site is 75% off or up to 75% off right now. Got him. Finally. Got him. Oh, oh we come off. <laughs> Henry was a solid 17. <laughs> now, that one was actually pretty good. I think it was like eh, probably about three and a half, four pounds. 
probably about 20, 21 inches, somewhere around there. It would have helped me a little bit in that tournament, which by the way, we did a little bit of an angle sesh and I did upgrade in the Guggen Squad 30K tournament. So if you guys are in that, guess what? I upgraded like three and a half inch, three and a half inches which I need that in my, my everyday life right now. And then Miraculous and I bebopped around the lake for the next few hours. We're kind of, we're gonna be here tomorrow fishing and I'm telling you guys, these fish are in that kind of zone that they're just not really wanting to munch. Miraculous, what would you call that that time of the year where they're not really wanting to eat? They're like starting to slide up? Pre-coitus mode. Pre-coitus mode. Yeah. I don't know if that's a word or not. And I'm very lucky that Rackley decided to bring, oh yeah, look at this, we got the actual stuff today, baby. That's good, he's like, hey, I'm gonna pick up some some cold beers, some cold pops is what we call them. Get some cold pops, don't you worry about it. Daddy Rackley showed up with that Coors Banquet. <sighs> that's the good stuff. Oh, okay, so, Rackley, what are we doing? You're making dinner or what? What do we got going on? Is it you? Is it me? Are we using a grill? You need the grill? Am I pulling it out? You got it, okay. So we don't need that. Okay, so if you guys don't know, we got this in here. Uh, it does work and it is we've used it every single time let's see here now pulling on this back side i'm gonna tell you guys right now there's one thing i've not figured out and i actually spent a little bit of time yesterday on this trying to come up with an idea but i couldn't and that is the starlink cable so this is starlink i like to get this thing attached to the roof but this cable that runs all the way out right here which is causing me a little bit of a i'm saying a headache but this it was pre-wired uh, well not pre-wired it was wired to this area that's where I thought I wanted it. And then it's, I, I don't want to pull it back through the wall because the little hole's small. And I got to, I, I don't know. I need to figure out what I want to do. Either put a hole in the bottom of this and just take it out every time. Or maybe get those little, you know, those little things you screw in with that the wire connects to. Maybe run it and then go up the side here and then onto the roof. I don't know. I need to figure it out because this ain't going to work. But we do have Starlink and it is probably one of the most impressive things of the 21st century. A little stool here. And yes. Oh so no, like I said, this was an ambulance at one point. It doesn't look like it now. Let's see here, was it this? Yeah, there we go. Oh, there's some stuff I need to add. I need to add something for this charging bank for all my batteries when I'm on the road. So pretty much this is all I do. And then my bed stays down. It does, fold up, it does fold up into a table, but since I'm always by myself, to be honest with you, I probably would have changed this and done this a little bit differently. You know, if I knew I was gonna be traveling alone by myself, probably would have just put a bed in here, I guess. But anyway, Look at this. I had this added and the AC does work. It cooks like crazy. I'm going to turn it off real quick. But look. Oh, look at the old TV coming down. That's why we got the old Starlink. I still have never used this or the grill or the oven or not. It's not a grill or an oven. I'm an idiot. The grill, the cooktop, the stovetop. Yeah, if I were to change anything in this thing, it would probably be, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if I would have went as all out as I did to make it look as nice as I did. You know, I probably would have done a little bit differently, but you know what? Looks good. I, I, I actually love this thing. Now this, I wish I had two of those things. That thing is absolutely phenomenal. That fridge, really good. And look, yeah, see, this is only at 85% used right now. And this was pretty much on, actually, matter of fact, this was on all day. This ACU that I just turned off and it only pulled down 15% and it kept this thing perfectly like for me. And the thing is, is all I have to do is really turn this thing on and drive it for like 20 to 30 minutes and that will be back to 100%. The battery setup in this thing is really, really good. They did a phenomenal job of that. Now let's make a way out here. I think Rackley's cooking up some stuff. Actually, yeah, that'd be good. It's gonna get chilly tonight. I think it's gonna be like 45 here. I know, spring in Texas, it still gets kind of chilly. And can I say right now that Mr. Rackley made probably the best catfish I've ever had in my entire life. You pair it with one of these, one of these, uh, what are we calling these? I forget what yellow they're called. Bellies. The yellow bellies. Yes, yellow bellies. The yellow big bellies. belly cats. Oh my God. Mm. Yellow belly and some blue catfish. I'm telling you guys right now, my life has been changed. I don't know. It's up there with crappie. This this last couple of weeks, oh. Rackley has changed my life. And oh, I, oh, I, I think it's time for me to do a little bit more of this uh, catching cooking myself sure. because my god these things are good yeah. everybody just kind of squats on catfish because they're like all oh, the catfish is like gooey man it's probably gross it's all gooey let me tell you something you flay them up right you put them in some of this right here shallow pan fry yeah by the way this stuff is back in stock and my god is it good look at the rest of this right here A little bit of a late night here with with the racklinator it is still i think i just showed you guys the time let's see here yes 12 33 after midnight us, us us old men are still up cranking still still up doing things we're thinking about our life like legitimately we just had like a four hour conversation out there on what we're going to do with our life we have no idea we're like lost in the sauce but at least i have an ambulance with a tv
Wow. Woke up at 4.45, went out, you know, took my morning piss or whatever you want to call it, which we all do. Then I decided, you know, I'm just going to go in and lay down for one second. Three hours later. Yeah, it's 7.45. But it's fine because we're right next to the lake. It's a little chilly. I know Rackley, he had a little bit of yellow bellies last night. He wasn't ready to get up super early. And lucky for me, Rackley, even though he had a few yellow bellies last night, is still capable of making a phenomenal camp breakfast. It's almost like he is the housewife out here. Oh my God, look at this. This is the after yellow belly breakfast right here. Breakfast of champions, blue eggs and potatoes. Little skillet fries. Look at that golden crisp, baby. That was some Gordon Ramsay stuff right there. Look at that. By the way, if nobody knows, he actually found this pan inside of a creek. That is uh, thrifty. We'll say. Look at this. Oh my god. Like, what is going on here? This is like grapes I see inside like one of those scenes where Jesus Christ is being fed or something. <laughs> I don't know if he was fed grapes. But... I meant like a Roman king or something. Yeah, yeah. Know. In the time of the Romans. Look, I got your favorites. We got berries. I know you love berries. God. There is some, uh, There's this one's called the drunken goat right here. Try that. I know you love cheese. What is going on here? All right. It's infused with Merlot wine. Oh. oh. Not for you. Oh god. No? Oh, wow. I thought you loved cheese. I love cheese. You don't like fine cheeses? Is that goat? Yeah, it's goat cheese. Oh no, hard pass. The only cheese I don't like is goat cheese. That was as sour oh, as all can be. I'm sorry. And just after brushing my teeth, <laughs> probably one of the, that was one of the worst tasting things I ever put in my mouth in a long time. you like a king out here, dude. Look at this, we got fresh made Wait, this biscottis. Is, this, this is normal cheese This though. is normal cheese. That's normal, I'll try, I'll try normal cheese. This right here is kind of a, um, you may like this. It's a, it's a rosemary uh, crisp. It's sort of like a, it can be an any time of day. A little cookie, it's kind of a savory cookie. Got on that. So this is some like really fancy food right here. We God, that's kind of like weird. It's, like it. it's kind of weird, but it's good. It's sweet and savory. That's really weird, a rosemary cookie. Now I'll go ahead and throw out the obvious. Some of the best things and the perks of actually having this thing with me at all times. In fact, I have stuff like Starlink and I have that TV in there to watch some Netflix. I mean, I got to have some internet. If you guys are doing YouTube videos, you got to have the internet where you're going. You got to be able to send footage, get footage, do all that kind of stuff. Now I will say some of the downfalls with this thing, this massive rig right here is fuel. Fuel's really expensive. I think this trip cost me, what did I tell you yesterday? 170, 175 in fuel. Not just for this, but for the boat as well. Now the boat's probably, we'll say 50 bucks. I think this is about a hundred bucks round trip. Now this is, now we'll say it's about a seven hour round trip for me to come out here. So it's really not that bad on fuel. It is a seven three. Now here's where the perk comes kind of ahead. All your stuff's already inside of here. And this place was only $16 to stay. So, I mean, you, it kind of, would you say kind of evens itself out with hotel stays, but then you have everything you want and we can sleep at a boat ramp if we really wanted to. There's, there's three huge reasons for doing this. A, you have the freedom, so you can basically go anywhere in the country that has a park around it, which is most of them. Uh, two, it is economical when you start adding it up. And three, um, there was another really good reason, and it, I just farted it out of my brain. It left. I'll think of it later. But there's still going to be some some downfalls, which we actually, there's still another one, I guess you would say. Underneath here, we have a thing, I, I believe it, it, that old drive shaft. You guys know the big long thing that connects the, what do we have here? Transmission, uh, transfer case, and then back to the rear diff. Number three. What was the third one? You're right by the water. Is that a plus it's or a minus? It's efficient. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, Super I mean, if I turn you're not, the camera like, driving yeah. from the hotel, and then you're in traffic, and people are honking, like, oh, you, got, uh, you want fishing? <laughs> you're right here. Peace. I woke up with a bird chirping this morning. I was facing the east. The sun rose. It entered my eye. <laughs> the bird entered my ear. <laughs> it's actually it awakened it's a good my, point. my, we, my we, human spirit. We save money on food, too, because I've, I've been doing this. I'm going to tell you guys, Ragley's going to laugh, but I've kind of found this guy named Dave Ramsey, and oh, my God, has it changed my financial outlook on everything. So now I look at everything all the way down to like how much money I spent on fuel and gas, and I never did that in the past. But I was, what I was saying about the, the, the drive shaft, or drive train, the drive shaft, that goes from now the transfer case down to the rear diff. This whole thing was custom made, and I'll, I'll go in here and show you guys. I gotta take this jacket off. Don't wanna, don't wanna jack this thing up there on the concrete. Wow, slam that thing down there, bud, right when I said concrete. I'm sure that turned out real good. You got another, you got another hack for us. Yeah. Okay, well, what is... Okay, we're gonna go this way first, I guess. Looking directly in the east into that sun. This is looking like a big shadow of a Sasquatch. Hey, uh, big, big cases of water can get expensive after a while. And, and they you... sit in your truck and then you get microplastics and the heat. 
We don't need that. Get you a get you a bottle like this hydro oh, flask. M D O G. Yeah, Who would have thought a Mountain Dew one, huh? Uh, buy Dew, collect points, get gear. Mountain Dew outdoors. So this thing is a hydro flask. Look what I'm putting in here. I got a filter. This filter's cheap. I got it off Amazon. Thing lasts for like ninety thousand gallons or something like that. It'll never run out. So I just buy one every year. Hook it up to these things. Come over here, get your water. You're done. You're not buying water anymore. Water's free. Always get counter rackly for the, the words of wisdom. Now I'm gonna show you this real quick because I know some of you guys and gals out there might know a little bit about this here. I'll show you. Oh, all right, here we go. Which thankfully I've already talked to. I've already talked to the guy who built everything underneath here, and he's a really nice guy. Oh my gosh. Alright, so this. This bad boy right here. You guys see this? There is a seal, which is right here. Uh, this thing. You guys see that? Can you guys see that or no? No, you can't. There you go. Now you can see it. This seal right here. Alright. Uh, that was pretty shoddy work with the filming, but you guys got the point. This thing, this dry shaft, I think it's like, what he told me is about an inch and a half to two inches short because that seal pops off. And I didn't even notice it until I got down here and I was trying to rewire and think this, the Starlink thing and that thing had already slid back. And he said he's making me a new one to send it out. But remember this thing underneath here, 100% was custom made. Thank God he's a nice guy. He's gonna send a new one. Now the downfall is I gotta figure out, should be pretty easy to install. I gotta figure that out. And as Ragley just gave me the wise words of wisdom of the morning, famous last words, should be easy to install. One of the other things I didn't tell you guys is this thing when they converted it, it actually had an AC and heat system like on top of here that cooled this entire back half, all that back over there. But I put in one of those Dometic, um, AC units back there and it works phenomenally but I will say when I was down in southern like mid central Texas doing a Guggen week I didn't have that on the screen on my window oh my I didn't do anything like the whole back wasn't getting cooled and none of the because uh, all the heat was coming through here this thing when they pulled this AC unit off they didn't tell me there's another thing that it was going to basically disconnect the front AC so I have to make sure that that AC is always on in the back when I want to run it so there's also another thing I learned which I didn't know it was going to be a thing, but it is what it is. It's not that big a deal. This thing uh, stays cool. That thing back there works absolutely phenomenal, but when you park it, you need to have one of those sunshades or you're screwed. I wish diesel still sounded like this. And by the way, what he is doing right now, yeah, I'm not kidding. He's really doing it. Yes, he is. He told me just a second ago that he was going to have to find something to whittle down to make into a toothbrush because he forgot his toothbrush and toothpaste and he's like oh, i'll take one of these tree tree brims or excuse me tree brims tree limbs bristle up the end and then chew on it for being god rackley is such like if, if we didn't have electronics and cell phones and we just lived in caves rackley would thrive and he is he is meant to be in that era and one of the last things i guess i'd probably want to do is maybe something with the brake system maybe i i don't know yet i'm gonna ask you guys so <laughs> This thing is fine. Like it's it's 100% fine when I'm like cruising down the road and pulling something, it, it stops fine. That's not a big deal. It's when you're at a complete stop, like for say this, this boat ramp, and then you go to put the boat into the water. It, it almost feels like the saw, or the, excuse me, the brakes are getting a little bit soft and squishy. I did have them, I did have the air removed out of line. So I started with that. It cost a couple hundred bucks. It really wasn't that big of a deal. But now moving into maybe upgrading the brakes. I've never done it on a vehicle myself. I don't know if you guys have ever done it. I think it's probably going to cost like between a thousand and fifteen hundred just to get the brakes and then have them installed. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. You guys tell me because I think you got to change out the lines and everything like that. Would it be worth it? Is there another option? I mean, you got to think about it. This thing weighs 11,600 pounds by itself right now, plus about a three to 4,000 pound rig on the back when you're going down a hill. I want to make sure that I can go to all boat ramps. Like I know some of these boat ramps, this one's not steep at all, so it's not a big deal, but some of them can get kind of steep. I want to make sure that I'm not having any issues, but if you guys know anything about that, please let me know. That's one of the last things I think I need to upgrade on this rig to just say we are completely done. 100%. But I'm actually about to start another episode it's out here with Rackley. Hopefully we're going to do a serious angle. So thank you so much for hanging out with me on today's episode. I do love you guys. I hope you guys had a fantastic week and you guys are hanging out with your family. I do love you guys. I will catch you guys on an episode here on Lunkers TV. I do love you guys. I'm out of here. Oh, <sighs>